Today, we're talking about the new rent control law in California. If you are a real estate investor and you own multifamily properties in California, or if you're thinking about investing, you must watch this show. Welcome to Multifamily Long Beach, a show dedicated to wealth creation and financial independence through real estate ownership. I'm Juan Weezar, president of Sage Real Estate in Long Beach, market leader in four unit apartment sales and rent control expert. The new rent control law has passed statewide. And what I'm gathering from a lot of people is they were unaware that it's been passed and they don't know the important factors that will impact the value of their property and the way that they manage their units. And for the buyers out there, the way that they forecast future rents and the initial investments, all of that's gonna change. Today, we're gonna to talk about AB 1482, the new rent control law. There are three parts to this law. There's the rent cap, the just cause eviction, and the relocation fees. And the fourth part, which is most important to you, is what does this mean to the value of your property? One, rent cap. As owners, you are now limited to how much you can raise the rent. The new law is, will allow you to go 5% plus CPI. In Los Angeles County, the CPI is currently at 3%. So what that means is you could raise the rent in a 12 month period by 8%. If within that 12 month period, you've already raised it, but maybe you did 4%, you're still allowed to raise another 4%, but you can't exceed that eight. Now, if you're in a different region, that CPI will be slightly different. There is a retroactive law that you need to know about. That date is March 15th of 2019. Let me give you an example. I spoke with a landlord today and April 1st, she raised her rent by 15%. She's within her right to do so through the end of the year, but come January 1st, she needs to lower that rent back to the allowable 8%. There are exceptions to this rule. If you have a single family home, a condo, a townhome, or a duplex that you occupy, you're exempt from this rule. If you are exempt, or if you believe you are, you will need to give your tenant notice come December. Moving on to number two, just cause eviction. Now, you must remember this only applies to those tenants that have been there for longer than 12 months. An owner can no longer terminate that tenancy just because. At fault eviction, for example, this is for a tenant who has become a nuisance, there's been criminal activity, maybe they moved in additional people that are not on the lease, or maybe you gave them notice to enter and they won't let you in. This is at fault eviction and you could proceed with a typical eviction during these scenarios. Moving on to no fault eviction. If you're an owner and you wanna occupy one of the units, you're able to do so. If you're an owner and you wanna remodel the unit extensively, that's a no fault eviction. But it could trigger what's called a rent relocation. Now rent relocation is part of the rent control law. And in the city of Long Beach, we have stricter laws where the state of California is requiring you to pay one month's rent as you ask the tenant to move out. The city of Long Beach is asking you to pay two months rent. It's really important that you operate under the right umbrella. In the city of Long Beach, there are two relocation laws. You have the state and you have the city ordinance. The city ordinance says that if you own a duplex, a triplex, or one fourplex, you are not subject to rent relocation. However, the state of California says you are. So while you may not be required for rent relocation under the city ordinance, you will be under state law. It's very important that you know the difference. In the city of Long Beach, the rent relocation fee is actually higher than the state's. So if you are not exempt from rent relocation in the city of Long Beach, your fee will actually be higher than what the state law is. And as of last week, there was an emergency ordinance that says that you cannot have your tenant vacate between September 12th through the end of the year. So they've stopped all notices. That's important to know because if you gave a tenant a notice, it's possible that they will not have to vacate just yet. It's important to note some of the exemptions when it comes to the rent relocation under the state law. If you have a duplex or a triplex and you live in one of those units full time, then you're exempt. If you have a newer building that's 15 years or newer, that's also gonna be exempt. Now it's important there's gonna be new forms that are coming out in December from the California Association of Realtors. And it's important that those addendums get added to the existing leases and they get delivered to the tenants in time. Now the fourth part, and probably the most important part, how does this impact the value of your property? I've been having lots of conversations with apartment owners who are worried, what am I gonna do? How am I gonna manage my properties now? Here's what I expect is gonna happen. Since a lot of people are unaware that this rent control law passed, and they're just finding out more and more people who are fed up are probably gonna list their property. So I do expect an increase in inventory. Then you have buyers that are 
pushing back and maybe they're not willing to purchase the property right now as they figure how all this works out. So you're gonna have an increase in inventory and buyer pullback. You could only imagine what's gonna happen. Now that we've gone over the four points, let's recap. One, we have the rent cap. Two, we have just cause eviction. And three, we have the relocation fee. And four, how all this impacts your value. So going back to number one, for those of you who may have raised your rents a little higher than what's allowed, January 1st would be the day that you come back. For some of you who are gonna be exempt from some of these laws, make sure that we give out those notices. When it comes to relocation fees, in the city of Long Beach, there are two laws. We have state and we have the city ordinance. Find out which one you're gonna be under and make sure that you're in compliance. I know you're gonna have a lot of questions as there was a lot of information we covered today. Please feel free to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help. And two, there are new forms coming out that we as apartment owners will need to issue to our tenants. They're gonna be rolled out sometime in December by the California Association of Realtors. If you wanna be the first to receive these notices, which you are gonna need, please join my email list by registering at my website, sageregroup.com. Again, that's sageregroup.com. I look forward to hearing from you.